Hey Eastside Kids, I'm Teacher Trisha and welcome back to our series about the Ten Commandments. Hi Teacher Trisha. Hi Teacher Amber. Hi kids. Uh, it's great that you guys are here today. Have you gone over our big rule yet? Not yet, thanks for reminding me. Our big rule is to be kind. Yep, just like we have a big rule with Eastside Kids, so does God. God has ten big rules with the Ten Commandments. Mm -hmm. You know, Teacher Amber, on my way here this morning, um, I was listening to the radio and I couldn't help but sing along to all the songs. Oh yeah, I love singing to songs, like with karaoke. Do you like karaoke? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like karaoke too. Yeah, so great. Why don't we try karaoke? You wanna try karaoke? Yeah, we could do okay. some karaoke. Okay. okay, all right. All right, is this car karaoke? Yeah, karaoke in the car. Awesome. But there's a twist. We aren't gonna sing the songs that have already been made. We're gonna make a whole new song. Whoa, that could be a little bit interesting. I am not the best songwriter, so. That's, well, to make it a little easier, we're gonna sing about or rap about any of the things that we see on our drive. Okay, all right. It's a road trip, car karaoke, yeah, sing type. along. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. awesome. All right, here we go. Well, maybe you should go first. Uh, well, maybe we should have a little, maybe I'll turn on the radio. Oh yeah, a little, a little music. Bit. little music, okay. Okay. All right. Okay. There's a squirrel on the road, and there's a toad. Right. All right, Teacher Amber's turn. <laughs> He's in a mode of uh, uh, ice cream a la mode. Ooh, now I want ice cream. Wait, no, that's not what we're doing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the sky is super blue. It makes everything look new. Uh huh. Yeah. And who me who? A two. <laughs> Hi. All right, okay. Um, yeah, you do okay, something. Okay. Um, okay. We're driving down the road. We're doing that for a while. <laughs> okay. We're going very fast. Yeah. In our car. Yeah. In our, car. In, our in our little beetle. Beetle. <laughs> in our beetle car. Is it a beetle? Okay, cool. Yeah. Beetle. Car. Oh. We're gonna go far. <laughs> We're gonna go far. We're gonna go very far. There's a bush on the side. Oh, there's a bush. And reminds me of George Bush. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that was a pretty good song. I mean, I, I would get it published. I think we could. I, I guess some people would. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. Well, did you know one way to obey God is to worship God? So singing, dancing, rapping, and all those things can be used to worship oh, God. Oh, that's pretty awesome. I didn't even realize that something like dancing could be worshiping God. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Here, let's take a look at our Bible story. Last week, we learned about the first and second commandments that God told Moses on Mount Sinai. The first commandment was to not have other gods before the one true God. The second commandment was don't worship idols. When Moses was on Mount Sinai, God told him even more rules. The third commandment is to always say God's name with love and respect. Many times, people will yell out God's name when they are hurt, scared, or surprised, which is not a form of worship or honor. God wants us to use his name when we're talking to him or telling others about him in a nice way. The fourth commandment tells us that we are to remember God's Sabbath. God wants us to take one day of the week and rest. When God made the world in six days, he rested on the seventh day. This gets harder when you get older, but there always seems to be something to do. But remember, God commands us to take a day off and rest.
Oh, awesome. How God has rules that we can follow. Last week, we learned about the first and second commandment. There's no other God besides the one true God, and we should have no other idols, and we can worship only God. And this week, we learned that we should always treat God's name with respect and have a day to rest and thank God every single week. Yeah, that's three of our four. rules. Yeah. yeah. So we can follow these rules and the rest of the Ten Commandments by worshiping God. And you can worship God through so many ways, by singing and dancing and cooking and drawing and being kind to your friends and helping your siblings. Mm -hmm. And that brings us to our Bible verse. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your strength and with all your mind. And love your neighbor as you love yourself. Luke 10, 27. So kids, that's all we have for today, but go ahead and uh, click on the links below if you want to do some of your own worshiping God with mm -hmm. singing and dancing, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Well, kids, we'll see you next week to learn more about the commandments. I think we're on five and six. I five think we're six. on five and six, but for now, I think Teacher Amber and I are gonna go to the studio to publish the Squirrel oh, yeah. on the Road. That's Squirrel on the Road song. Squirrel on the Road. Yes. Let's There's do it. Toad.